going on guys got an interesting little video today that we're going to be testing out and that being said this is for informational purposes only uh, what we're going to be doing is checking the viability of 22 short through your 22 lr firearm um, the reason i'm doing this test right now is because it is the apocalypse of 2020 the ammo shortage is real uh, so if you notice to your, when you're going to buy ammunition, say 22 LR, uh, a lot of times you won't find 22 LR, but sometimes you will find this right here, 22 short. Now I don't have to do a how deadly test is 22 short because I do know it to be very deadly. Uh, if those of you who are not familiar with 22 short, it was used religiously by hunters and very successfully at that to uh, sm hunt small game. So it is smaller, it is of course uh, slower, and it is, well, right now available when 22 lr isn't. What I have in my hands right here is my Ruger American Rimfire 22 lr build project. Um, but if you guys aren't familiar, what's going to make this convenient for me or anyone that owns a Ruger American Rimfire is they use Ruger's BX magazines. This is coupled together with a high tower armory coupler. Uh, what makes it, which makes it very easy for me and convenient to use 22 short in my Ruger American Rimfire because of this little modification that I made, which I'll have that video linked in the description box down below. This allows me to cycle 22 short through my 22 LR Ruger American Rimfire because if you try to shove shorts into any standard magazine for any other rifle, it tends to hang up and misfeed and nosedive and it just simply doesn't work unless you're manually feeding a single shot or a bolt action or something like that. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started and see how accurate it can be through a 22 lr rifle. Because as you know, it is shorter, so it takes a somewhat of a jump to get to the rifling of a 22 lr chamber. So what I'll be testing on the second shots here is the CCI 22 short hollow point. This is their varmint round. It is 27 grain moving at 1105 feet per second. You can see it, that's it right there. We'll shoot that second. And firstly, we'll shoot CCI Mini Mag. This is their 36 grain moving at 1260 feet per second on the top mag right here. So easily identifiable with these mag couplers. It's kind of nice to have like a clear mag on top. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I got you zoomed in out there in the picture in picture at 35 yards. And we're gonna start on the left lower green target with Mini Mag 36 grain, 22 LR. All right, here we go. We'll take about three shots just to group this uh, 22 LR on here. Again, no magnification at 35 yards, just a red dot. All right, let's go over to the circle on the right and just check where this 22 short is going uh, as far as impact and point of aim. As you can see, it feeds just fine in my Ruger American. Again, you will have probably more issues in a different type of firearm without some kind of modification. This is the hollow point 22 short 27 grain at 1105 feet per second. A lot quieter, a little bit slower. Um, hopefully I'm making paper out there because it is slower, it's probably gonna hit lower. Before I take my next shot, I'm just gonna double check with my scope here. Good, good for me. Look at that. Sitting right there on the top of the target. Let's take another shot. Very quiet. I'm gonna check what this is without ear pro on. That sounds like a like a cap gun. All right, so that's three rounds right there. Let's take a look. Of course, you guys are seeing from the picture in picture there, but and from the looks of it, not a bad group at all. Uh, looks like my red dot might need to be dropped down just a little bit to make everything right, but from what I'm seeing, that is a very viable option. Again, 22 short 
has been used for a long time before 22 LR as a dedicated hunting round for small game. So let's just take a couple shots in that small game out there just to demonstrate. This is really nice not having to use ear pro with these little these little rounds. Let's go for the big guy on the left. Body shot. Now at this distance on this cloudy day with no magnification, I can't see where I'm hitting. So hopefully you guys are able to check it out. Let's try to go for a headshot. And as you can see, this is cycling just fine in my Ruger American Rimfire here. Again, I would not try this, even manual cycling on a semi-auto. With that being rimfire, you get, a, you get the right hang up in there and that bolt smacks the rim. You can get a detonation without it being in a chamber. Let's go for his headshot. I forgot that I'm shooting high. I should probably hold a little bit low. All right, so that's, that's without uh, adjusting my elevation here. So we're just gonna take the rest with just holding over. So if I go high, you know why. If the red dot is on, oh, oh, ooh, just a barely a little bit of hang up there. All right, let's go for the little guy on the right. I'm gonna hang a little low. I'm, I'm gonna aim for his toes. See if I get him in the head. All right, again, you guys are seeing before me, I hope that I'm not wasting this footage here, but here we go. I'm going to aim for his body, so I'm going to drop below his feet. All right, let me take a look. Eh, you know what? I really can't see much with that, uh, that style of target. I have to get a good look at it. So, what are the drawbacks? Um, outside of 20, just 22 short in general uh, into something that's not meant to shoot 22 uh, short in it. Uh, I can tell you this, that this twist rate is different from a 22 short. Uh, the accuracy potential of a 22 short is a lot better than what you're seeing on this piece of paper right here because 22 short actually has a different twist rate, which is going to stabilize that very lightweight bullet a lot better than, say, I believe this is 1 in 12 or 1 in 10. I forgot which it is. The other um, drawback for using 22 short enough of it in a 22 LR firearm is that it will gum up the chamber of the 22 LR. So the next time you go to use 22 LR in your dedicated firearm, um, you will have possible ejection issues um, with with over time. That's a that's, and it takes a lot of rounds to get to that point. Uh, so you'll have possible extraction issues, I should say, extraction issues, um, and possible chambering issues. And again, that's with a lot of 22 um, short ammo sent through your 22 LR. Well, guys, I hope you appreciate this video. Um, I've learned a lot, and we appreciate you guys watching. Be sure to check the links in the description box down below for our sponsors, such as GunAdapters.com, Ace2 Tactical Paracord Slings, and we have coupons, affiliate links down there through Optics Planet. Um, again, this is just to quickly answer a couple of questions if you're still hanging out here. This is my Ruger American Rimfire build. I'll have a link to a video on this build in particular if you have any questions about it down there in the description box down below. For those of you guys that are just still hanging out, I appreciate you guys always uh, tagging along and watching till the end. Um, again, I'll have the link to this uh, little modification here down in the description box down below if you're looking to build this very easy and again, I have that instruction uh, video on how to do it. Very simple. Um, I don't have much else for you. If you guys have any questions at all, feel free to give me a, uh, a shout down there in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you guys.